Hey guys and welcome back! Today I have another video for you in a fancy guppy strain series about another strain that I currently keep and breed. Although this strain is pretty classic and traditional, there are a couple of things that you guys may not know. So let's head directly to the video. Today we'll be talking about one of the most common and very traditional strain of fancy guppies, bluegrass. We can basically see them on majority of shows and in general they tend to do very well. Currently we can find variety of colors and crosses, as this strain is very suitable for outcrossing to develop dots on the fins, especially with Japan Blue or Moscow Guppies. Blue grass is definitely the most popular color for grass guppies, however, what many breeders don't know is that this strain is very difficult to maintain. This is mostly because in the drops of blue grass guppies we will find three different varieties. First is the actual blue grass. It incorporates the Asian blue mutation, which converts red coloration to metallic blue, and in the body of the fish we can find usual dark blue swoosh that's typical for this strain. From my experiences, only approximately 40% of males will turn out as blue grass when both parents are blue. We can see a little bit of yellow coloration at the end of the body and in the tail, however, usually this will disappear as the guppy grows older. Another approximately 40% of males from the drops, according to my experience, will turn out as red grass. This type may be considered as the wild type grass as most popular bluegrass guppy was developed from this variation. It basically is the base strain without Asian blau gene. Now whether you want or not, you cannot eliminate this gene from bluegrass strain and in the drops there will always appear also red grass siblings. Luckily, Red grass are super attractive looking and therefore you should not have any problem selling them, as this variation is very catchy for the eye of many hobbyists. Blue and red grass have also another sibling that shows up in their drops. It's usually called Asian blue grass guppy and it has a dull grayish blue coloration. Based on my experiences, approximately 10-20% to of drops will turn out with this genetics and majority of breeders are usually discarding these fish from their drops. You can basically see the difference immediately, as blue and red grass fry have the typical brown-green body coloration and blau grass are grey. I usually grow them to approximately third month of life, pack them with protein-rich diet and give them to my friends as feeders. So as you can see it's quite difficult maintaining bluegrass guppies and it's not recommended colony breeding them. If you want to secure quality fish with blue coloration, you need to selectively breed blue males and females with grass pattern to secure that you will have at least 40-50% to of bluegrass guppies in their drops. As with any other strain of fancy guppies, the way I do it is select the best looking males and females, breed them and once I'm able to sex the juveniles, net the males out and keep them separately from the females. This is also a very important procedure if you want to keep high quality of your guppies. The presence of females would cause males fighting and ripping each other's fins, and females may also be sometimes quite aggressive towards males, especially if they're trying to breed all the time. I even transport and pack the pair separately to limit the damage that the female may do during the transportation on the male's fins, whether I'm traveling for the show or just selling the pair to another hobbyist. Looking into my bluegrass guppies, the dorsal fin is quite spectacular. The length of the dorsal fin in adult males usually extends exactly one third to the tail fin, what's very important on the shows. However, what I'm currently working on is the shape of the tail fin. I'm trying to accomplish delta tail with straight line and eliminate the round in the back edge of the tails. Another shortcoming of my bluegrass guppies is that males are a bit smaller than other strains and this tends to get my fish down pointed as well. When breeding fancy guppies there is always room for improvement. I have several juveniles that look promising and as with selective breeding I'm currently trying to work on already mentioned shortcomings, 
I hope I'll produce few pairs that will accomplish decent scores on this year's shows. Thank you very much guys for watching, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Bluegrass guppies are definitely one of my favorite strains. If you want, let me know in the comment section below which strain of fancy guppies is your favorite. I'm currently also starting with live streams and the next one's gonna be on Tuesday about what I'm actually feeding these guys. So if that's something you would like to know, stay tuned and see you on Tuesday.